Many golfers may be thinking about hitting the fairways and improving their own game. But before you do, you may want to work on your swing and learning how to prevent a common injury. Our Elise Michelanis has more on some technology that's helping golfers reach their potential. Ann Hogan has been playing golf for almost 15 years. Taking it and swinging it back slow and following through and hearing the sound. It's not looking at the, where the ball's going, it's hearing the sound when it hits the club. It's a passion that had Hogan playing four to five times a week, resulting in a lower back injury. During her recovery, she took part in a study at High Point University of amateur female golfers using weights as well as a golf swing simulator. So the golf simulator was used to um, to track their swing speed, ball speed, uh, ball flight, how far they hit the ball. Um, it would be difficult to run a study like this if you had to run over to the driving range. Dr. Eric Hegedus also used launch monitors, a force play, and high-speed cameras to track every part of a golfer's swing, pinpoint problem areas, and help with rehab as well as improve a golfer's game. If you're having pain, and in amateurs it's most likely back pain, we can analyze the motion and correct it so that you don't have back pain when you play golf. It can even help first-time golfers nice. like Straight this reporter up. learn how to tee off. Nice I'm not shot. very good oh, that's that's right. with the help of the simulator. I improved oh, a bit. Show me some of the things I did wrong, some of the things I did right. Sure. So let's start with what you did right. So your position over the ball is very good here. Um, the spine angle, uh, as indicated by this red line, is pretty good. Your arms are uh, a little rigid, which again is normal for an uh, amateur who's probably a little tense over the ball to begin with. Technology that can see what we can't while we're keeping our eye on the ball. In High Point, Elise McAlanis, Time Warner Cable News.